Amazon is a search engine like Google or YouTube, where you type in keywords in order to find content, or in the case of Amazon, to find products. The more keywords a particular product on Amazon is ranking for, and the higher that it's ranking on the page for these keywords, the more sales that product will make. Why? Well, it's simple. More keywords and higher ranking equals more views. More people can see a product, that means more people can click on it and ultimately buy it. Tracking and knowing your Amazon keyword ranking is extremely important to do on a weekly basis. And as Tony Robbins once famously said, you can't improve what you don't measure. And luckily for you, I'm going to give you the best and free way to keep track of your Amazon keyword rankings using my own personal keyword tracker spreadsheet, which will be a part of the Amazon Seller Vault which is basically free access to over 11 different Amazon seller tools, templates, and resources, which I'll be linking in the description section below. And this very spreadsheet that you'll see is included in that. So be sure to check that out along with everything else referenced here in the video. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so once you access the Amazon seller vault, go ahead and navigate to the Amazon rank tracker spreadsheet that you see here. Click on file and then make a copy, make your very own copy. Otherwise you won't be able to edit this. And once you have your own copy, I'll just quickly run through and show you uh, what this does. And most of this is all automated. Okay, so it's really powerful. So really simply, what we wanna do is identify our top 25 keywords. So these are the 25 most relevant, highest revenue generating keywords. If you're just getting started, you wanna kinda estimate this, like what are the 25 keywords in your master keyword list that are most relevant to your product and have the highest search volume? Right? It's not a perfect science, but just 25 is a pretty good number. Anywhere from 10 to 25, really. You can get started with 10 to keep things simple. But what basically, what are your most important keywords? That's what you wanna list here. So you just list one by one, and you can edit over any of these cells here, all the way uh, from A10 down here through A34, okay? Really simple. Once you list those keywords, then you wanna list the estimated search volume. And I prefer to use Helium 10 Magnet for this process. I can literally just copy all of these paste them into Helium Ted Magnet, and it gives me the search volume for each. It's my number one Amazon seller tool, and we have videos here on the channel about it. So let's say best wireless earbuds, uh, average Amazon monthly search volume of 12,000, Bluetooth earbuds, 25,400 monthly searches, and so on, right? And estimated search volume for each keyword, list that down anywhere from 10 to 25. So we have all that down. Then what we wanna do is we have, as you can see here in the very bottom, different months. So we're just gonna begin here in January. We have January all the way through December. So we can track our ranking and ultimately hopefully see improvements or at least maintaining, you know, really good ranking throughout the months. And I'll show you what happens kind of if our ranking goes down, what do we do? If it goes up, you know, what do we do? So starting here with January, we're here at January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and so on. So let's say it's the first day of January. We wanna see where is our listing ranking for the keyword best wireless earbuds. And the good news about this is that this is free. The bad news about this is it takes some time. So if you are a solopreneur, this is what you would be doing. But if you have a team, you can you know, very inexpensively outsource this process along with some of your other lower level tasks to someone in the Philippines for let's say like $5, $6 an hour. Very, very inexpensive and have them do it. That's what I'd ultimately recommend. We can get started doing this yourself. Okay, so first we have the keyword. So I'm gonna command C the keyword, open up amazon.com. And if you're international like I am, make sure that you're using a VPN for the United States. Uh, make sure the address is correct, like somewhere in the United States for the address. We're gonna go ahead and command V to paste. Hit enter. And we wanna scroll down. And let's say like we scroll down, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That this is our product right here. It's the Beats Studio Buds. Obviously it's not our product, but let's just say for this example, this is our product. So every time we basically wanna scroll down and count where our product shows up, now, what I recommend doing, you can do it one or two ways. Okay, so you saw here, right in the beginning, we have this two sponsored products. These are ads. So it's up to you whether you wanna include this or not. What I like to do is see where I'm organically ranking. What that means is I wanna exclude advertising. So for example, right, I type in the keyword like we did, hit enter, scroll down, I skip anything that's sponsored. So this is zero, this is zero. Okay, then we have one, right? Because we have no sponsored here. So this is one, two, three, four, Skip this, five, why do we skip it? Because it has the sponsored right here. So it's five, I believe, five, six, seven. Okay, so actually we're number seven here, organically ranking. So whatever method you wanna use, we would be ranking number 10 if we included sponsored products, but I recommend excluding, just see where I'm organically ranking on my own. That's what I really wanna see. So we're number seven. So we would go over here and actually we would write number seven. We are ranking seventh on the page, right? Let's say wireless earbuds for running. 
This is ours beat studio. Okay. So we're going to go up here just one more time. Just kind of show you. So we're not even on page one. I believe I said 16, right? 16. I believe this is it, right? Let's just say this is it. And we're ranking 25, right? Again, I know it's not the same listing, but let's pretend this is our listing, you know, and we're ranking 25. So what we do is go back and we would enter in for day, or this is day number one. So yeah, right here for this keyword, it was actually 25 and not 21. And then we just simply do that for each keyword for each day. And as you can see, take some time, but that's what you have to do. There's no free tool that kind of does this. It would have to be kind of a manual process, but this is gonna set you apart from 99% of sellers. Super important to know. So again, you or a team member can do this, fill out for each top 10 to top 25 keywords. What is your ranking? Keep in mind, some of your rankings can be even lower, like 100, 200, 300. So maybe you wanna have a limit where if it's ranking over 80, right, 80 or more, just write in 80. So if it's like 81, you know, 300, 700, whatever, it's just gonna be 80. That's what you're gonna write in here because you don't go above that because it would just be, not be a good use of time. That's why I'd recommend because it'll still work for our purposes. In general, it's about 45, well, it depends on the, the product as you can see here. But let's say about like 45 searches per page. Okay, so page one has 45, then plus page two that's 90 and so on, but it does vary depending on the product. With that being said, pretty straightforward. We fill in the organic ranking every day for the whole month. And now we see our rankings. And this is this section right here, which I'm gonna highlight for you, is where we're gonna edit. This is where we're gonna enter in information. Actually, sorry, all the way from here through here is where we're gonna enter in information. Everything else is automated for you. So we can see average ranking. So look at this. So best wireless earbuds, our average rank was 10. Where if we compare that, our average ranking for wireless earbuds for travel is 36. So we can see what are our overall top ranking and low ranking keywords. The same thing here, we can just see of collectively our top 25 keywords, where's our average rank? Like where do we averagely rank for our top keywords? And you can see 25, 22, 20. So if there's 45 positions per page, we're about the middle of the page, right? 20 to 25, somewhere in that range. It's kind of the middle of the page on average. Some being higher than that, some being lower than that. So we rank about middle of the page for our keywords. And our goal is to get within the top 10 for as many keywords as possible. I mean, ideally position number one for all of our keywords, right? But that's impossible in reality. But the goal here is to see increasing of keywords until we're in a really good position. And then we wanna maintain that. That's the kind of the whole point of tracking this here. So up here as well, this is kind of my favorite, is these are automatic calculations based on the data that you input. So automatically, this is our top keyword. This is the keyword that we rank the highest for on average. It's wireless earbuds under $50. Okay, so maybe we have a product that specifically competes on price. Our bottom keyword is wireless earbuds for small ears. Let's say that our product actually isn't really designed for small ears. It's actually for, I guess, regular ears, right? It's not custom designed for small ears. Maybe we want to think, hmm, do we really want to be spending money on ads for this? Is it really converting well? Let's look at our Amazon PPC data and see if this is a good keyword, or let's say, wait, our earbuds are like specifically designed for small ears. We should be ranking better for this. Then check, are you targeting this with Amazon advertising? Is the, the word small ears somewhere in your listing, in your title, your search terms, in your bullet points, your description? Those are the two things that I do when I wanna increase ranking for a given keyword. Again, this is gonna tell you exactly what to do, but it's gonna overall show you your performance and guide you in what to do. Again, not tell you what to do, because nobody can do that, but it's gonna really help guide you and it's super powerful. So, you know, bottom keyword, is this an important keyword, yes or no? If it is, we wanna increase rank. How do we do that? Number one, make sure it's targeted in Amazon advertising somewhere, so, right? You could have an exact match campaign and you target this keyword in sponsored product exact match and you can get started at a higher bid. So whatever Amazon su suggested bid is, bid at that level or a bit higher to really make sure you're aggressive and then optimize the bids later. Because basically the best way currently to increase ranking for any given keyword is to target that keyword in exact match in sponsored products with Amazon advertising. Now, why? Because you're targeting that keyword specifically with Amazon ads. When someone searches for that keyword on Amazon, they see your product and click and purchase. That sale is attributed to that keyword, whether it was organic or paid, basically. So the more sales that you make per keyword, the more you increase in ranking for that keyword. So again, your ranking's going down, you target those specific keywords in exact match, or if you're already targeting them, increase the bid. And basically that shows that keyword to more people, more people click and buy. So then you'll see your keyword ranking increase. Again, don't take my word for it, actually test it out and you'll see that in general, this is the case and this is what happens, okay? But it's kind of this slight tweaking with time and you will see uh, your results improve. And also make sure that the words, let's say wireless earbuds, and four, those words are all in your listing, but small ears is not. 
or the word ears isn't in your listing. And it's important, make sure it's in your listing. So it's really, really important. It's gonna help kind of guide you. So again, you can drill down here into the table and really look at like, okay, you know, 28, 36, 29, these are our lower uh, 37. These are all lower. So then you can look over here and then think, hmm, are these relevant? If so, we wanna make sure that they're in our listing and with advertising. So top ranking keyword, bottom ranking keyword, uh, our average rank just automatically updates and we can check month after month. So we have January, then we can go to February, which obviously there's no data. This is for you to fill out. March and so on. And you can actually see, okay, is my rank increasing or decreasing with time? Also, this one's a bit more difficult to explain over here. The top 10 search volume, top 40. Basically for all keywords that you're ranking within the top 10, it looks at the search volume of those keywords and aggregates them together. And basically you wanna see this number also increasing. So it's not just about average rank. There's a certain amount of search volume for each keyword on Amazon. Let's say that your average rank is staying the same, but your top 10 and top 40 search volume is increasing. What does that mean? That means your average rank is staying about the same. You know, some rankings going up, some's going down, but it's about average, it's staying the same. But you're ranking for higher volume keywords. So your total search volume. Again, this is about views. It's not just about page ranking. Like imagine ranking on page one for a keyword with 10 monthly searches. I mean, that's fine, that's good, it's better than nothing. Or would you rather rank position 20 for a keyword that gets 40,000 monthly searches? You wanna rank for a keyword that gets 40,000 monthly searches. Even though your ranking is worse, the keyword itself is a more profitable keyword. It generates more revenue, because more views in general equal more sales. And again, we make the assumption that your product is relevant. If you're ranking like on page one, you know, you're selling wireless earbuds and you're ranking for like unicorn pony doll, probably not gonna get many sales at all, even though it's a high volume keyword. But in reality, that's in theory. And in reality, Amazon doesn't do that. They're very, very specific. You can see, type in any keyword, are the search results super far off? Usually, it's never the case. They're very, very accurate. That's kind of why I have this here is you wanna be looking at your average rank and making sure that's increasing. And also the search volume for the top 10 keywords you're ranking for and the search volume of the combined top 40, those are increasing. Basically, this shows you your top 10, like top of page one. And this is just all of page one search volume. Does that make sense? If you have questions, let me know in the comment section. But I know it was a bit tougher to kind of explain, but that's kind of the theory behind it is depth and width. And then lastly, this is probably the most simple. This is just your ranking over time. So if you're looking at this graph, are we increasing, decreasing, or staying the same in this hypothetical example? We are decreasing. Look at the starting point here on January 1st and look at the ending point. If I was to draw a line, that would be decreasing. So that's not a good sign. So I wanna kind of drill in and like, hmm, okay, we're decreasing. We wanna be looking at some of those, you know, maybe like top keywords, making sure that we're still aggressive and that we're still, you know, targeting them well with Amazon advertising, make sure they're in our listing, which they probably are. And again, like I said, look at those lower keywords here, you know, row, let's say 18, what do we got row uh, 26, you know, I'm looking at that last value there, you know, 37 low page rankings and find ways to increase those. And then your overall uh, will increase. So as you can see, super powerful, but the biggest downside of this is the amount of time it takes to update the sheet, okay? So if you don't have a team member, or even if you do have a team member, but you really wanna automate this process, I highly recommend Helium 10 Keyword Tracker. This is what I use. I actually stopped using the spreadsheet because this basically automates everything. And I already have the monthly Helium 10 subscription that lets me use Helium 10 Magnet, which is my number one keyword tool, Blackbox and X-Ray, which are by far my number one Amazon product research tools, Helium 10 Profits, which shows me my exact Amazon profit, and then keyword tracking. It's just a great all-in-one kind of solution. Huge, huge fan of Helium 10. If you're new to the channel, you'll learn that pretty quick. And how it works is once you log into Helium 10, click on Tools, click on Keyword Tracker, and then from here, you can add your entire Amazon product catalog. So all the products that you sell, you can kind of set them up here. And then within each, if I click on here, you can enter in all of the keywords that you wanna basically track. So all the keywords that you're targeting with Amazon advertising, I highly recommend just copying those over, pasting in here, and within seconds it updates. And then I have to actually blur out some of this information because it is a personal product of mine. But it shows you, you know, the keyword, which I've blurred out over here, the estimated search volume from Helium 10, the organic rank of that given keyword. So where you are ranking on the day that you log in for that keyword, relative rank. So this is how you compare to your top five competitors. So six combined. Average ranking, you know, over time. You can also see the number of your competitors that are ranking for this. So six out of six are on page one, you know, for this keyword, sponsored rank, etc. And of course, what I'm really looking for is keyword, search volume, and then organic rank. Those are kind of my top. So if we scroll down, 
All right, we can see this one here. I'm ranking, you know, currently in the third position. I was in the second position and they fluctuate from day to day, right? But overall, we wanna see either maintaining or increasing overall. And we have an estimated search volume of around 800. And for a lot of these, these are actually generating sales in Amazon advertising. I can actually see that in my dashboard. But according to Helium 10, some of these keywords, you know, they can't kind of extract that search volume. So that's why it's kind of blank. But I'll show you some more examples. So we scroll down. As you can see, we have hundreds of keywords. Go here to page two. Right. And we see, okay, so down here for this keyword over here, estimated uh, monthly search volume around 3,600. We're currently toward the bottom of the page, ranking 40 out of, let's say, like 45, 50, about. We scroll up though. So as we go up, we can kind of see, you know, getting more toward middle of the page for a keyword of 5,000 with 6,000 up here, all the way up 200. Right. And I just want to kind of keep track of this overall. And if I collapse all of this, or I could just scroll up here, we see that we have 25 keywords. From our list, we're ranking in the top 10 and we can see change over time. And 54 of the keywords that we're tracking, we're in the top 50, right? Basically like top of page one and then page one. And the same idea here, which I've repeated. Yes, this is where I got the idea from, but search volume. So we have 2,716 combined monthly searches in the top 10. We have 70,700 in the top 50. And you wanna check in like once a week, you'd have your, again, VA or team member do a report or you on your own, just check in and say, okay, once a week, how are we doing? Are we increasing or decreasing for those important keywords? You know, how's that tracking? And basically, as long as it's maintaining or increasing, I'm happy. If not, then I dive in and see what specific keywords do I need to add to my listing? Do I need to start targeting with advertising? Or maybe I'm already targeting with Amazon advertising, but I need to increase the bid. Hope you see the kind of the power in this, how to go about doing this. Really not too complex of a process. If you do the free way, it'll take you a little bit more time. You do the paid way, it's a lot faster. And that's what I do now at this stage in my business. Um, but really, really powerful and really hope you find this valuable. Again, you can get access to the free Amazon Keyword Tracker spreadsheet as part of the Amazon Seller Vault with 11 other free tools and resources. It's all there for you. Uh, in the description section, go and click on that. Give us your name and email. We'll send that over to you and hope you found this immensely valuable. If you had any questions about anything or any input, let us know in the comment section below. And as always, wishing you and your business nothing but the best and look forward to seeing you in the next one.